Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a while, I'm sure. It's been too long. But, uh, yeah, life takes precedence over hobbies, right? But, uh, yeah, so this is pretty much a work in progress update of what I've been working on over the past couple weeks. And uh, <clears throat> this one's actually from the Bell 222 kit. Uh, yeah, I basically made like a travel work box, I guess. Because <clears throat> I've been mostly working on this kit on my breaks at work. Uh, which... Um, pretty much can concentrate a little bit more on, you know, sub-assemblies if you would. And so far the work has been good on this kit. Slow, but it's coming along. And let me go ahead and get to it right away. <clears throat> so basically what I've done so far in this kit, uh, I worked up the interior there, made the firewall detail there. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Uh, I used uh, one reference photo or picture I should say that I used was from this year from an, you know these worksheets that you collected like in the 90s I guess I still have a few well actually I pretty much gave them away to a thrift shop since I never actually looked at them but I did keep this one so yeah, what I used was pretty much this uh, exploded, well not exploded, but uh, interior detail look and I just went by what I could see there, pretty much. And a few reference photos online, but I couldn't find too many. So that's what I used so for, for, for the most part for the engine bay, firewall interior detail, blah blah blah. So that's what I did with that. I probably won't be able to see it through the air vents, but that's okay. I know they're there. And in the future, who knows, I might get better and find some engine detail work that I can put an engine on there or something. But that's what I've done so far on this side. And, uh, yeah, I'll just show you the interior that I did again. Fixed up the seats. I don't know if I said that in a previous video, but there you go. Much better than before. Uh, I did correct the vents on the engine axis panels. As you can see there. So, those are corrected. Uh, this was a pain in the butt to do. Or maybe I just made it harder myself, but those are corrected. I'll more than likely take this off and put it again because they're still not flush with the outside uh, sheet metal panel like it would be on the real aircraft. So what I might do is just... Um, uh, make another form of these to the to size here put a sheet stuck on the back and then just like fl sl uh, slide it in there or put it in there so it can be flush and then just glue it from the back you won't be able to see through it but at least you have the detail from the mesh there these I already corrected I just need to install them and Put them on there. I'll show you. Let me see if I can find them here on my box. So, still got some work on them, but we'll see how the finished product looks like. And I'll just clip it to this alligator clip so I can show you. So, there it is right there. Let me move the light back a little bit. So, as you can see, that's basically what I came up with. Sanded it down so it can be somewhat thinner and more realistic. 
and um, so and that basically goes right here which I'll show you on this side because I did more work on this side so far and opened up the cover a little bit and it's gonna go like so just like that of course I need to work on the gap there around the area but that shouldn't be too hard hold on a second let me see if I can fix this light real quick a little too bright. So let me see. I'm just washing out the white really bad. But that's how it would go on there. So way better than this guy here. Because that's not even correct. Um, yeah, so I just uh, gave it a coat of flat black to check my work and see how it's going so obviously you can see there I still need some work on there but uh, I pretty much rescribed some of these panel lines and some of them that weren't there of course I still got a, more work to do but you can see how it's going and these look a little too thick though but I'm just gonna leave those like that with a couple coats of paint that should somewhat fix it a little bit yeah so Oh, where am I? So that one doesn't go there, so I need to work on that one. But these do go there. And, of course, there's more that I need to do. This, I need to redo the vent here, because I <clears throat> used the Dremel tool to thin it out from the back, but I did it too much, so. Used some uh, plot plate there, covered it up again. And I need to sand it down some more, as you can see there. And then make it look like this one here again. Like that one right there. So, yeah, I did rework the windows there. So it can be a little more correct in shape. Just use some uh, super glue and filler to work that area out. So. And I might have to do a little bit more work on these here because you can see they're not straight. And those vents right here. But that'll be pretty easy to work with. And of course, basically the most of the work is correcting these grill vents here. And pretty much panel lining or rescribing these panel lines. And adding the fasteners like these here back around this area here so it's gonna be a lot of work but it's getting there I did redo the windows with clear uh, plastic stock so they're thinner and more accurate more realistic looking I guess you could say and right here these are just uh, taped on there just to so I don't lose them <laughs> but now yeah, there's the interior detail of course, I need to add some uh, circuit breakers there, which I'll probably just use some stretch sprue and just cut them to size. And maybe some uh, headphones there, and just, you know, things you'd find on that helicopter. Some night vision lenses to read maps and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. And of course, I think I mentioned this before, I had to scratch build a console here because I lost that part, so, yeah, but it's more more accurate now because I did it using uh, reference photos, so that's more accurate, same thing with the seats, let's see if I can get close up here, of course there's no instrument uh, panels there, so I'm going to see if I can either find uh, decals for it, or try and make bezels out of a really thin sheet styrene. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Should be fun. But there are the seats. I just need to, um, of course, uh, add more details there. Instrument details, switches, you know, those kinds of things. Some buckles. But that's that. 
And then what I've been working on so far lately on this kit is a main rudder hub. Uh, as you can see, I pretty much scrap build probably like 80, 85% of it. I wish I had some, we would have taken some pictures of the actual hub. Well, actually I do. I have to download them again and show you guys at a later time. But uh, let, me, let me back up here. And get closer. And just focus. So I pretty much scratch built everything you see here that's white. Uh, let me bring it back in here. Okay, so the swash blades, we did that. That scratch build. Drilled out this part here from the hub, from the rotor blade assembly here. And put those through. These are from the actual kit, so I just took those parts out because I didn't think I could make those. I just scratch built those, so I used those and then just added some cardstock there, some detail, not cardstock, but plastic uh, plot plate there to make it more accurate. Oh, too close. Come on, baby, focus, focus. I think. There we go. Let me see if I can slowly get it there. Or maybe not. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, so that's from the kit. And then just added some plot plate there to make that hinge more realistic. The swash link assembly, I think. I can't remember what it's called. And these are from the actual kit, but I uh, cut them in half and made them uh, narrower. This is uh, just a stretch brew. And that's all scratch built as well. So, let me see if I can get closer to it. Um, Come on, focus. So, uh, yeah, all that is scratch build. Mm. So, let me see if you can see. Uh, so, yeah, all that white there. And, of course, the original was really crude. So, we did that. Of course, I still got some work on there to do. Sand it down, make it more crisp and sharp and of course I just need another rod to go on this side I lost the other parts for these so I now have to scratch build those hopefully it will come out better than than this one if it doesn't I'll just replace this one with uh, another scratch build one but that'll go here And, uh, yeah, that's it for the rotor blade. I still need to put some, uh, I don't know what they're called up here, but I wish I had my notes so I can call out the proper names for this. But uh, there's more detail that needs to go up here. But that's it on this guy. It's been slow and hard, but hey, I'm getting there slowly. Venturing into uncomfortable places in my hobby, and it feels good. Do more than I thought I could. And then, oh, what I've been also working on or trying to finish here is the go ship the Jolly Rogers this was the Revell glow in the dark ship can just came with the glow in the dark paint but I didn't want to do that so I figured I'd try and make it look a little nicer so this is what I have on this guy so far uh, I still need to repaint the deck 
try it with a wood color from uh, Vallejo. So far I've done these here, these panels. Uh, you can't really see it much because of the light, but it's a different shade than what I normally had down here and up front. I did use a paintbrush for this area, so I have to go again over with an airbrush and do some washes, and I'm pretty sure it looked much better. And use some different shades of brown too, just to give it some contrast and I don't know, make it more realistic, I guess. Um, yeah, I did bore out the cannons as well. Uh, of course, they're dry brushed gold on all this trim. Get some red there, and same thing on the back. Uh, I have not yet decided how I want to do the back here detail with the skull. Okay, let me adjust the camera real quick. Hold on, guys. <coughs> So I think so far the idea that I came up with is to paint this like a really faded white and then just uh, gold around the sides or maybe copper, I'm not sure yet. So that's the idea I have for that. And of course I added some window frames here. That one doesn't have any because it's on the outside part, it's just like that one. And added one there too. I can't remember why I didn't do it for the other two windows, portholes, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure. But I'm going to have to go ahead and do that too. And possibly carve out the window too and, you know, make it like this here. We'll see how that comes about. And these I didn't bore out because that was just a little too complicated. And I didn't want to mess it up, so more than likely I'll just use washes and that kind of stuff to make it more <clears throat> realistic there, more believable. But let's see what else, what else, yeah. The mask, I still have to repaint because I kind of oversprayed there with the airbrush. And I think I'm going to recolor the sails too because I just didn't like the custom color I used for them. I thought it would make them, more, make them look more realistic, but yeah, I'm not really happy with that color. So I'll have to redo those too, and possibly also repaint the masts as well. And yeah, once I get that done, then it'll be time to start rigging it I guess. So I'm, I'm really having fun with this one too, but it's been slow again, as I said before. But that's what I've been working on so far. So, yeah, uh, thank you for watching guys, and sorry I haven't put out a video in so long, but I'm not going to stop. Every time I get a chance, I'll put more out. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it on that, and I will make another video. Uh, basically like a haul video, some toys and kits that I've bought throughout the month of December. Just for fun. Uh, yeah, so till next time. Take it easy, guys. And gals and kids of all ages.